Hello Rita the chart master, I know you love charts, but why on paper? Let's teach Rita how to make this dynamic chart that will update every time you select a state. And that's a very powerful tool for your dashboards. So let's go to the data sheet. And if you want to download the workbook, the link is in the description. We're gonna select the columns and insert a pivot table. Let's put it in a new worksheet, press OK, there we go. If you don't see pivot table fields because you accidentally had a mouse slip and closed it, don't panic, just right click in the pivot table, you have show field list, it's back again, let's put the weekdays and the sales. I have my pivot table, this is great, let's get rid of those grid lines, they are not nice, so view, you click on grid lines, they are gone. And this is something that you should do always because it will make your analysis look neater. The next step is to insert a chart. So just click inside your pivot table and go to insert. You can select a chart. We're just gonna put it here and we're gonna change some cosmetics. Excel has this default chart template that is extremely ugly. I don't know why. The first thing I want to get rid of is this sum of sales and weekday, they do not add any value. So right click on one of them and you have here hide old field buttons on chart. Very complicated sentence which means I want them gone. The next step is again to clear some space. I have some extra things that I don't need. So first of all, click on this axis, press delete on the keyboard. You do the same for the grid lines, press delete and for total. Next, we're gonna change the title, so click on it one time, select it, write sales. You can also select the whole thing and do Ctrl B or Home B to bold it. Let's also bold this, so we click on it and we do B. Next, I want to get rid of this annoying blank. We don't want it in our chart. What do we do in this case? Let me show you a simple magic trick. You go to your pivot table and you unselect it from here, press OK, it is gone, perfect. Now the other magic trick that you can do is just hit the subscribe button and the like button on this video, you will make a smile magically appear on my face. Now let's continue, we need to do a bit more cosmetics. I want to change the color of those bars, so click on them, right click, format data series. If you just go here, you can change the color under fill. So this is fill. We can make it, for example, this blue. You can also select it from here. Same thing. The other thing I want to do is make them a bit bigger. So you have this gap width. If you just make it a bit smaller, you can see that the bars are way better now. The other thing I want to do is add the numbers on top. So to do this, you just go on this plus data labels there we go the problem is we have 100 decimal places we are not einstein here we need to get rid of them because we only want to see the big picture so there are two ways to do this the first way is to format this you can just select it and go here click you can see that this got formatted and it will change automatically on the chart the other way is to click on those and here you can just format it under number. Here you have general, let's select number and zero decimal places. Once we go back, it's gone, perfect. Select them, bold them. Last change on the chart is this border. Select the border, you have format chart area. You can do no fill and no line. Click here, the chart is good now we need to add the menu. The menu is actually a slicer. So to get the slicer, I'm just gonna close this one. And if I go to my pivot table, I can right click on state and do add as slicer. There we go, this is my slicer. Let's put it here, move my chart a little bit. Problem with this slicer is again this blank. This is a ghost that is following us everywhere we go. Here in this case the trick did not work, but let me show you the other trick. Right click on the slicer, you have slicer settings and under settings you have hide items with no data. 
So anything that doesn't have a value for sales will get hidden, in this case the blanks. Press OK, gone, perfect. Let's do some cosmetics on the slicer. So I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller. And here we have clicked on the slicer. You click on slicer and you can create a format. Now I have a couple of format. I'm just gonna delete them and we're gonna create it again together so you know how to do it. Let's go here, new slicer style. You have a lot of options. For example, I can do selected item with data. So every time I select something here, a state, and it has data, I can change the format. Click on format, and here we want to fill it in orange. So fill, select the orange color. You can also change the font. It's black, so it's okay. Press OK. Fine, you can see the format that I selected. Now I want to do unselected item with data. So every other state that is not selected but has some data, in this case I want to do format, let's change the border. So we select this orange color, click on outline, this is orange and the font is black, so we are fine. Press OK, press OK and select the format. So now everything is selected. This is why all is in orange. If I select one of them, this will become in orange and the rest will be in this other style that I've selected. Now, if I want to select multiple items, I can just press on control and start selecting the items. So automatically the dashboard will update with the sum of California, Kansas and Michigan. And if I want to remove Michigan but keep the other two, I press on control and press on Michigan you can see it updates automatically. If you select one item, it will be one item. Now you have this option, multi-select. If it is selected, then every time I select a state, it will do the same effect. If I want to remove a state, I just click on it and that's about it. So it's the same, but without the control. Let's unselect this one and click on clear filter. Everything is cleared. If you remember the version I showed you in the beginning, we didn't have this state and all these options. So if you want to replicate the same, just right click here, slicer settings, and you can uncheck display headers. You press okay. There we go, we don't have any more headers. We can just put it here and that's how it works. I want to just hide this pivot table because I don't want people to see it. So I select the columns and I just do hide. You can also have the pivot in a different sheet than the graph. It will work. So Rita, what do you think about our dashboard? I hope you like it like all our viewers.